shall send to the Senate this afternoon the nomination of Mr. Thurgood Marshall. John Paul Stevens. Judge Sandra Day O'Connor. Judge David Souter. Judge Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Chief Judge Merrick Brian Garland to join the Supreme Court. The question is on the confirmation of the nomination of Clarence Thomas of Georgia. To William Rehnquist of Virginia. Anthony M. Kennedy to be an Associate Justice of the Supreme Court. Uh, Mr. President, I will uh, support the nomination of Judge Anthony Kennedy. I've decided to vote. I will vote. I'm very pleased to support President Reagan's choice. Those in favor of Judge Kennedy's nomination will vote aye. Those opposed will vote no. Mr. Hatch? Aye. Mr. Grassley? Aye. Any nominee submitted in the middle of this presidential campaign isn't getting confirmed. We're setting a precedent here today, Republicans are that in the last year, that you're not going to fill the vacancy of the Supreme Court. Even if the president should nominate George W. Bush to be on the Supreme Court, I wouldn't, I wouldn't confirm him either during this time. Then we're writing off the last year of a president's term. We're writing off the last year of, of, of Congress's term. What other issue won't you deal with? Conservative George Will, the Republican Party's incoherent response to the Supreme Court vacancy is a partisan reflex in search of a justifying principle. The multiplicity of Republican rationalizations for their refusal to even consider Merrick B. Garland radiates insincerity. This is a brand new CNN ORC poll. Those favoring a confirmation hearing outnumber those who oppose it by more than two to one.